welcome to more fabrics webpage i've been working so hard at this webpage and a big shout out to my uh, daughter holly who has been working with me um vigorously trying to make this perfect and easy for you guys as well so we decided to do a web page that um will help out in so many ways i mean there's easy ways to get a hold of me in any source of social media and all that and the best of all if you can see there at the page which i'm going to jump off here in a second see so all you guys do see is the web page uh, i'm going to go through line by line and uh, to go through uh, all those different tabs up there to teach you guys how to navigate your way through it but the best part of it all, please stay tuned because um, the fundraisers that I have up there, you can see I have a tab for a fundraiser page and I might just keep that up there for right now. I have a big fundraiser I'm starting right now today, actually, which is silent auctions for Laura Laughing Dogs Book Nook. More information to come um, through this video. I'm going to show you guys and walk you through it. And um, I thank you guys for spending the time and checking this out. I mean, this was a big deal for me to get all set up because there's so many things I want to share with you guys. And it's great that I can put it all in one spot to where you guys can access all the different ways that um, that I reach out to you guys. All right, guys, I'm going to press pause here and I'm going to show you how it is all set up for you guys. OK, OK, let me minimize this screen really quick for you guys. Um, as you see here, it is a more fabrics web page. I have it all set up here. Um, so simple and easy to uh, navigate right through. I wanted it to be um, easy. It's probably the number one thing I did to set this web page up for you guys. Um, as you can see here is four tabs here. So um, those are obviously, as you can see, F is for Facebook. I got my Etsy shop here. We have Instagram here for you and we have YouTube. So before you get started with me on any of these things here that I'm going to show you, including all the tabs here, which they're all so I mean, I just can't wait to show you guys what I got going. Scroll down to the very bottom and please subscribe. Right now, there's no button because I'm just showing you off of my screen, but there'll be a button here to push and you can subscribe. When you do, um, put your email address in there because that's going to benefit you here in the future. So I'm going to scroll way up to the top um, and uh, get to the beginning of this. So... The first tab you see is F for Facebook, and I'm gonna take you there so you can check out what my Facebook group is like. If you're not subscribed to my Facebook group, this is a perfect time to click on that. Let it load up here. It's gonna take a second or two. Um, Wi-Fi might be a little slow. We have some storms coming in um, for uh, here in Florida. So here is the uh, group page that I have. And in here, you can be able to subscribe or join the group kind of thing. And there might be a few questions to be part of this group, just so then we can kind of figure out, you know, if this is the group kind of for you kind of thing. So the group is slowly uh, making its way through. It looks like we have 465 members and growing. I'm very excited. I know that today I just put in a 30% off uh, anything in your shopping cart today that is at least $35 or more. 30% off is a good deal. So I hope you check that out. Um, and then obviously we, uh, welcome our members. So anyone who's new will welcome you. Um, <laughs> hope you don't mind. And then, um, the cool thing about the Facebook group is my number one goal in this Facebook group is to, uh, allow a platform for those. If you're a shop owner, if you are a crafter, um, any type of crafty type of person, shop owner, or just a regular crafter, you can share what you do share your product, share your live sales, those kind of things. It's perfect for that if that's something you would like to try out. The second thing here is the E for my Etsy shop that I have on Etsy. And um, it'll take you straight to the Etsy shop. And obviously the first four boards you see at the top is the highlighted items. Um, those are usually either the newest items or the best sellers that are going on. So um, just navigate through there and there will be different tabs here of what I have in Etsy shop. I'm trying to stock more uh, for the holidays. That is my number one goal. So I'm going to back out of here and I will show you Instagram. For those who are uh, Instagram followers, I am new at Instagram, but um, I'm slowly learning. My daughter's got it all set up. It looks like so far at the moment we have 328 followers and we are following 703 it's growing and I'm getting some hearts. It looks like <laughs> I'm learning Instagram guys. So Holly, my daughter has been helping me set this up and putting new posts and things like that in there. 
So I'm going to back out of there. And so the last one is YouTube. This is a great time to where you can jump on in and check out any type of videos that I post. Or sometimes I do like a community post, um, which is right here. It's commun community. It's usually like uh, it's just a regular post. I'm going to click on it for you guys. Different things and updates that's going on. If I have like sales or different uh, things that are posted that are new in the Etsy shop kind of thing. But this is my YouTube channel. I am growing. I'm slow, but it's going to get there. It looks like I'm at 1,200 subscribers and growing. I'm so glad it's getting there. At the top, you can see these cute little tabs here. Are other ways to get back to my Etsy shop, Facebook, and Instagram as well. You just click on those cool things. So there's done lots of videos here. Um, down at the bottom, I've created some playlists where you can go to uh, how-to videos, how-to with your sewing machine, live with me, shop with me, what's new in the Etsy shop, and more. I think there's more in there. Shop shares and daily deals um, as well. Let me go ahead back into the uh, web page and show you what else we got going on. Okay, I'm so very excited to share with you guys um, definitely the fundraiser tabs. So if you can see here, there's different tabs here. We got a blog, the birthday club, and contact. There will be more tabs here coming up soon. I have a, an affiliate on Amazon and eBay, and those are be a great tab for you to click on if there's certain things that you know I have that I like. Say if it's different, um, say packaging supplies. I have a lot of people who ask, where do I get my packaging supplies? Where do I get my scissors? Where do I get my tape? Um, I mean, where do I get this and that? It'd be a perfect tab to where I could show you all the things that I get that I like and maybe help you guys out as well. So, okay, big thing for this video I've been trying to get you, and I'm slowly getting there, is this fundraiser page. This is where you want to click on. So if you want to be part of the silent auction, if those who don't know what a silent auction is, it's pretty much an auction for an item where you can enter in your bid and um, over a certain period of time, where however long that auction is, the highest bidder wins. So that is a silent auction. It doesn't require you to go live or anything like that. So I'm doing a silent auction fundraiser for Laura a Laughing Dog's Book Nook. She's a good dear friend of mine, and um, her husband has been battling with cancer this past year, and those uh, medical bills are really adding up. And my heart goes out to her, because I know there's a lot of people out there who has uh, their family going through the same thing, but this is a close friend of mine. And uh, she's a big person that I um, really appreciate in my life. And I hope that you guys feel the same way. I know she does really well, not only on YouTube, but in her Etsy shop. She's growing, she's learning, and she uh, is an awesome junk journaler. And she has a great taste for items that I seriously absolutely love. And best of all, she has a really big heart, and that is why I'm doing it. So that is why I'm doing the fundraiser page. So I'm doing Laura right now, and um, this is her shop logo for her Etsy shop and her YouTube channel. It is awesome. Her family, she's a family member who had designed this logo for her and it's totally her. She loves her dogs and I, she loves her nook as she, as she says. If you follow her on um, her YouTube, which I'm gonna get there here in a second, um, she always says, welcome to the nook. It is so darling. So I want to raise funds for her and I thought a silent auction would be an awesome way where you guys can be a part of it. So. Pretty much this is where it's at. So you go on to the fundraiser page and the first thing you're gonna see is a paragraph that's gonna explain what exactly the auction is for and who. And obviously, like I said, it's for Laura and 100% anyone who uh, wins anything in the auctions is going straight to Laura's family. Um, so if you can get a chance, read through what it's all about. As you scroll down, you'll see here, there's a simple tab here, which it takes you directly to her Gmail. If you wanna reach out to Laura personally and uh, talk with her, maybe you are a cancer survivor or you have a family member who is uh, struggling with that, maybe you can uh, correspond back and forth with her. Or if you feel like you wanna send her a donation, you go ahead and email there and she'll tell you um, easy ways that you can do that as well. Also, if you like to be a part of the silent auction, say like donate something. For instance, this book here was donated, which I'm getting down there here in a minute. 
you could click on this link here. It'll take you to a Yahoo and a email, and I can correspond back and forth with you, and we can work it out to where you can um, have things posted here that where it can be donated straight to Laura kind of thing. All right, so if you want to uh, say bid on an item in the silent auction, there are pictures in this whole tab, and right now we have three items that are up for auction. You can see here the first one here is a Lion King junk journal, which is absolutely beautiful from Junk Journals for You. Um, it's going to give you the description here at the bottom. If you read through that, there you're going to see at the bottom here it says Read More. Just go ahead and click on that. It's going to take you to a page just for this journal. It's going to give you description about the journal. It's going to give you beautiful pictures of the journal. It's going to tell you how many pages and who, who made the journal, included in how you can contact and follow the person who had created the journal or item that is being donated. As you read through it here, you will also see there's going to be a YouTube link right here, which is going to be a video that I do, a flip through of the, if it's a journal, or the showing of the item that is donated. So you'll be able to have a quick, easy click on this link and you get to see exactly what that journal is. Please do me a huge favor. Make sure before you become part of this silent auction, read these rules and, and uh, directions below. It's really not much. It's like three things. Um, it's important uh, so we can keep it organized kind of thing. Again, like I said, 100% of this, the live auction, sorry, not live, I'm the silent auction, will go to Laura at Laughing Dogs Book Nook. And again, underneath each picture that is posted for an auction, you will have a way to contact Laura through YouTube, Etsy, or her Gmail again. Also below there, the person, uh, I don't want to say her name, uh, Junk Journals for You, but that's her name right there. Um, but there's a way you can contact her through YouTube and Etsy and follow them as well, the person who had donated the items. So if you want to um, be part of the live auction for, say, that journal, which is that uh, Lion King one, you scroll down to the bottom, and then there's going to be a spot It says leave a reply. As you can see, I left the first reply. I make sure if you want to be part of the live, uh, the silent auction, put your first name. As you can see here, you enter your first name, and then put your bid amount, which you can see I put $10. That's all you got to do is your first name and your bid amount. Make sure it's higher than the previous one that was already posted. If you do that, then I can be able to find you far as via email. So anytime anyone enters a bid, since you already subscribed to the channel, when you enter your name, your name will connect to the email. So there's an easy way to correspond with you. Say if you did win the silent auction, that we can reach out to you and knowing how to get, like, get the funds and how to ship it out to you kind of thing. We can correspond back and forth. Please, when you do leave a comment and the bid amount, as you can see here, there's going to be a box. It says notify me of new comments via email, which is awesome. You need to check this. So if you leave a bid, anytime someone raises that bid or there's a new notification or update, you're going to get an email automatically. Still, though, regardless, if you check that box or not, it wouldn't hurt to go back to the fundraiser page, which is this web page. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top just to check to see if you are the highest bid, if you feel like you want to still keep bidding on the item kind of thing. But look at this beautiful Lion King journal. I mean, you got to check this out. I can't wait to share and post the YouTube video on this. It has got two signatures, and this thing is packed. It is just beautiful. I can't wait to show it. Okay, so let me show you the other two things in the fundraiser page, and then I'll get on to the other tabs for you. Again, like I said, you know, uh, it's going to be an awesome fundraiser that's going to help Laura. And there's beautiful items that will be posted every week um, that you can put a bid on in, the, in the, the silent auction. As you can see in the silent auction, too, on the, the first thing you'll see, uh, like, for instance, I'm going to go over to the next one. I'm going to scroll down is the quilt. I donated a vintage quilt here, and the description is below. The first thing you see in each auction, you'll see a start time and you're going to see an end time. Like it's going to be September 3rd, to September 10th, September 10th, the auction ends and the highest bidder is the one who's going to be the one who wins this quilt. And you're probably going to wonder, how do we know who is the highest bidder and how do you know when it ends? 
I'm going to click on where it says read more on this quilt. For one, I can show you the quilt and show you how that works. How do you know if you won the auction? Okay. So here's the beautiful vintage quilts that is donated, that I donated. Um, it's going to give you a description and everything. Again, it's going to give you the auction start time and end time. It's going to give you details, even if there's a rip or a hole, like for instance, in this quilt. I want to make sure I had given all the details that was there. It's going to give you the description of the item about the quilts and the starting bid, which I did the starting bid for every item. I figured that is the best way to start an auction um, is for myself to do that. So again, you'll see a link here eventually about the video about the quilts. I haven't added it yet. But how do you know if you're the highest bidder? So again, if you go to the post, you'll see here, let me scroll down. Um, this here is the comment board. Again, I put the first comment in, uh, the, my very first name in, and the amount for the bid, which I put $10. This is where you will always see who's the highest bidder. It's going to be more people, more feeds kind of thing. Um, how you know if you are the highest bidder and you won? Obviously, we'll notify you. But up here, each person who places a bid, it is dated and time stamped. So again, like this auction here ends on September 10th. So obviously, we'll make sure the last bid on September 10th is the person who wins. So that's already time stamped. So this, this is already keeping record for us. You can also like. If you like someone's bid, you can like it. But please, this message board, keep it to just your first name and your bid. I would love to have comments back and forth, but it's just going to kind of clutter the feeds and we just want to make sure we know whose bid is what. So make sure it's just your first name and then your bid and make sure your bid obviously is higher than the very last bid that you have here. And again, what's really cool is that you get an entire week um, in this silent auction for a chance to win it. Um, it gives people time to get all set up and everything to see if they can or cannot bid on a certain auction. I'm going to go back to the fundraiser page because I'm going to show you the third item and then get on to show you everything else. I know a lot of information, right? <laughs> I'm trying to show you. So we got that journal there that is up for, for uh, the silent auction, which is only $10 right now. Um, keep looking and keep going back to see where it's at. Like I said, if you view your email, you will get notification, but just in case, go back to check it. There's the quilt, the silent auctions, $10 at the moment, which, hey, amazing price, right? So let's get that bed going, guys. Let's help Laura out. All right, so the last journal I have is from Danny from Junk Journals and More. Now, Danny's sister is the one who did the Lion King journal, but this one here is a fairy journal that is like a Victorian garden fairy journal. Oh, my God, it's beautiful, too. Again, the description is just below it. All you have to do is read and then click on the Read More, which we will. And it's going to give you all kinds of pictures of the inside. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. You guys have to see it. The auction's already started at $10. Here's the auction start time and end time exactly a week. Again, same thing. Just go on down there. And there's uh, the information down here, how you can follow Danny at Junk Journals and More, her YouTube channel, her Etsy channel. And of course, down below here, if you keep going, you can go ahead and put the comment of your name and the bid number and submit it, guys. All right, I'm gonna scroll the top and let's finish this video and tell you how what else is in this um, web page. I have the blog here. This blog, which I'm not gonna click on it, um, it's just pretty much anytime there's updates or new things or um, about if I go to the beach, if I have something new in an Etsy shop, the blog is gonna have all that cool extra information and a lot of times surprise coupons or really cool deals that you might wanna check out every once in a while. Birthday club quite cool. Holly did this one. It's really neat. Um, pretty much when you subscribe, you give us your birthday, uh, you know, day and month. Um, and we will automatically via email every year send you an awesome birthday gift. So I hope you do click on that. Um, down below is information. Um, but pretty much subscribe, put your birthday in there and you're all good. Again, to subscribe, make sure you click on home, scroll to the bottom and there will be a subscribe button. And last but not least, contact. This is the last tab that you see. This is one way, or I should say another way, you can contact me. Pretty much put your name, email, your website. If you don't have a website, you're all good. Just message me there and I'll keep in touch with you.
All right, so pretty much that is it. I know I said a whole lot, but please, if anything, subscribe. Go to this fundraiser page because this here is going to benefit someone special. And we all, you know, love these kind of items and those items can do something good for someone like Laura. So like I said, 100% of what is uh, won in these silent auctions will go to Laura. And I want to keep this up for a good long time. I want to try to do this weekly. Um, the weekly giveaways are going to be on hold um, until I feel like I'm, you know, we're done doing these silent auctions. So I'm just glad that I'm able to help out Laura. So there you guys have it. There is my web page. It's going to continuously grow and change. So please keep checking it. And uh, please be part of this fundraiser, uh, the silent auctions, and keep checking out what's there. Again, before I leave, if you feel like you want to help and donate items to the silent auction that benefits Flora, down below is information in this YouTube video. Or just go to this web page, of course. All the links are down below in this YouTube video. And uh, again, don't forget to subscribe. I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. I'm very, very, very grateful um, that you guys are a part of this. All right, guys, until next time, you guys have a blessed day. Bye.